We've travelled north and south, east and west, and sampled the best on offer. But our journey across Britain is now reaching its conclusion. So, let's bring on today's contestants. Succulent, subtle, exquisite. Just three of the words today's chefs have used to describe their dishes. What's your dish? Pan fried sea bass. Yep. Um, with sautéed new potatoes, roasted fennel, um, together with pancetta garnish with lemon and caper butter sauce. Okay, but just how nice is Russell's dish? Okay, so sea bass is usually done within three, four minutes. Um, so I only do that with some nice little lemon juice and some butter, nicely fried, placed on top of the uh, potatoes, and then the capers and the butter sauce, just nice around the outside, cuts nicely with the salt from the pancetta, and it plates up quite nice, as you can see. Nice one, Russ. For me, it's a candidate. Mm. Looks pretty enough, but I have to rely on I you think the question is, bar. do you want to eat that? I do. Yeah, it's I so do I, I'm in. I'm, I'm in, it's right, a classic. In. Yeah, it, it looks lovely. lovely. Okay, bye-bye. So fishing for compliments in the main course kitchen is Sue with her baked salmon served with leeks and mushrooms and creamy cauliflower cheese and Russ and his sea bass sautéed potatoes, roasted fennel pancetta with lemon and caper butter. Russ and Sue are in our fish-driven main course kitchen today. Um, what was the inspiration behind your dish? Well, we, we go on holiday quite a few times to Spain, and there's one restaurant that we used to eat in. And I always used to try and order the sea bass every time I went in, it was on the menu. So we kind of bought it home, recreated it, and it's back here to, for its show today. Great. Let's hope it impresses the judges. You're going head to head. The floor is yours. Rival Russ is a funny man who's serious about cooking. He's used to taking centre stage, but will his dish be a cracker? It's today's dish, it's got today's feel, it's got today's flavour. Yeah, I think it's a winner. In the rival kitchen, Russ parboils potatoes and sautés with butter, onions and garlic. Next, he chops the fennel and roasts it in olive oil and butter. He simply crisps up the pancetta in the oven. On to the main attraction of his dish, the fish. What a beautiful piece of bass, though. Isn't it? Isn't so it fresh. Green. What's all that flour for? Don't know. What's that for? Just put in the skin and crisp it up on the, on the skin? No, I wouldn't. Because do don't need it. No. Russ then pan fries the floured sea bass. I, I couldn't afford to serve a portion like that no. in the restaurant. That in Ed's restaurant would cost how much? 400, 500. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, for the sauce, he melts butter with capers and lemon juice. I know you're busy, but I promised our viewers at the top of the show you'd just give us one. I nearly didn't make it today, actually, Mark. I came down the M1 today, and there was a big sign on the M1 that said, keep two chevrons apart. 130 mile an hour I was doing, trying to keep up with that Porsche getting here. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? Um, happy? I'll tell you what, that's going to take some. That's going to take some, in which case, prove it, sir. Upon the plate it goes for Sue and Russ. This is the off. Baked salmon fillet with leeks, mushrooms and Jersey Royals, served with cauliflower cheese, take first place. Or will Russ's sea bass with roasted fennel and crispy pancetta, drizzled with lemon and caper butter, steal the show? The sea bass, fennel and capers and bacon. Sea bass is, is got to be done correctly and quickly. So, 
you know, practiced. I mean, it should be near enough there. It should be about right. I took it off the stove, let it just cook this last bit out. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh. That's my kind of dish. I love it. Delicious, isn't it? Beautifully cooked mm. fish. Absolutely beautiful. I love the pancetta. Mm. It just gives it that yeah. saltiness. The capers mm. work. Potatoes are delicious. You had a question mark about the flour. Yeah. Mm. Well, still a question mark, but that dish is great. It is lovely. A really lovely dish. And the fish is oh. absolutely brilliant fish. Having it with the pancetta, which I think all of us agreed we'd never tried before, worked really well. It's a lovely sort of um, contrast, but then mm -hmm. complement. A combination of capers, sea bass, pancetta. Those potatoes are beautiful. The fresh parsley. It's a fan. This is a good dish. A very good dish. And I called it bacon. It was a fish fight in the mains kitchen, with Sue's salmon baked with leek and mushroom served with creamy cauliflower cheese. Absolutely gorgeous, said Jilly. But her opponent, Russ, is a strong contender with his pan-fried sea bass over sautéed new potatoes with roasted fennel, crispy pancetta, drizzled with lemon and caper butter. Now, on to our main courses. Will it be Sue's salmon or Russ's sea bass? Today's winning main course is... Russ's sea bass. That was one of the nicest main courses I've tasted in the competition so far. It could go all the way with a couple of others that I've got in mind. Brilliant dish. Well done. Thank you very much. Very well done. It's been a demanding emotional experience. Many, many congratulations. Thank you to our judges. Thank you to all of our cooks. See you then.